Hi there, my name is Marnie. Welcome to Clivia's for Africa and today's Clivia Talk. Something that's often discussed is whether it's the best to buy Clivia seeds or to buy Clivia seedlings or to buy Clivia offsets or to buy mature plants, flowering plants. So what is the best thing to do? You know, that's, that's often the discussion and questions that's being asked. And uh, I've been doing a bit of thinking about it and I thought, let me make a video and just talk about the advantages and disadvantages of each of these options. Because I don't think there's one that's better than the other necessarily. I think it's important to understand each one of them and to be able to make a good decision in terms of what is the best thing for you to do in you in your circumstances okay so let's start with buying clever seeds okay let's start with the advantages so advantages of clever seeds i would say the biggest one is probably that you get access to clever genetics that normally would be very difficult to get hold of you know there's often special plants that you know, you cannot get matured flowers or offsets. It's just, they're very rare and you can't get hold of it. However, there are seeds available of those plants on seed list. So it gives you access to really good clivia genetics. I think that's the first thing. The second thing is, it's the cheapest of all the, the different options, of all four options. So if you don't have a lot of money and you would love to start with clivias or you would love to get specific plants, buying seeds is always a good option and then the last one that i can quickly think of is clivia seeds can be sent overseas so whether you're in another country or maybe on the internet or somewhere you see some plants that you really like uh, it's always possible to order seeds from overseas where plants are much more difficult and often impossible to get transferred between specific countries with all the regulations and rules that are in place. The disadvantages of seeds are seeds might not germinate sometimes. Uh, seeds, seedlings grown out of seeds have a big mortality rate so often seedlings will die. It's part of the genetics, it's part of growing plants so you might not be able to raise all of them uh, until they're big plants. Um, the other thing is you're going to wait four to five years probably for the plant to mature and to flower. So there's a long waiting period. And then the last one, probably the most important one, is that you, nev you are not guaranteed about the color. So even if a plant has been self-pollinated or whether it's been crossed with other plants, you're never sure 100% what the color is going to be. There are certain rules and things that you can buy certain crosses that you've got a good chance or a good probability to get a specific color but there's no guarantees so that's one of the disadvantages so that's that's the seeds option okay so let's go to the second one buying seed links so the the, the first thing about seed links is that they are um, they are also fairly cheap very similar to seeds so um, the other advantage is that they've already germinated uh, they started growing most of the time when you buy seedlings they are about four to six leaves so they're probably between one and two years old so they at a stage where the chances of getting them to adulthood is a much better you know they're already out of the blocks they're growing so that's a great thing about seedlings um, so your waiting period until flowering is probably a year to two years shorter so if you're lucky maybe two to three years you might have a flowering plant from from a seedling the disadvantages of seedlings is that um, often when you order them you cannot check how broad their leaves are so you know you're not sure whether you're going to get a, a seedling with broad leaves or um, with long thin leaves where with seeds whatever germinates that's your plant you can keep it so if you buy a seedling 
you might get one that in terms of the, the, the plant shape is not ideal and it's not 100% what, what you are hoping for. So that's one of the disadvantages. Um, and they are slightly more expensive than seeds. So it's the second cheapest option, if, uh, if we can put it like that. Okay, the third option is offsets. So if you buy an offset, advantages of offsets is that normally I would say look for offsets that's got 9 to 10 leaves or more leaves. So the one advantage is that the plant is hopefully already about 3 years old or maybe 4 years old. So often an offset can within a year or longer, 2 years, you know, you can have a flowering plant. So you're much closer to a flowering uh, uh, um, a flowering stage of that plant and then the biggest advantage I would say of an offset is that an offset is an exact clone of the mother plant so you are 100% guaranteed about the color of the flower it's going to look exactly like the parent plant so that's a big advantage the disadvantage is that you're paying a lot more money for that guarantee so um, if you buy offsets they are a lot more expensive than seeds or seedlings and they are very similar than in the range of mature flowering plants. So they are very expensive and uh, the, other, the other difficult thing with offsets is that it's very difficult to get hold of the best, to get hold of offsets of the best plants out there. Um, often the very best plants out there are um, swapped between breeders, you know, um, often the very best offsets are given preference to clever friends, uh, breeder friends. So as an outstander, sometimes it is very difficult to get hold of offsets of the best plants and the top plants and the plants that you really like out there. But if it's possible, it is a good option. Um, you get a plant that you know exactly what you're getting um, but you're gonna pay some money for that so that's the the advantages disadvantages okay and then the last one is mature plants now for mature plants I'm gonna use the example of a flowering plant so I'm gonna start here with the disadvantage the only disadvantage is that it's probably the most expensive option because the plant is standing in front of you it's a mature plant and it is hopefully in flower um, and you can see the flower. So the only disadvantage is it's the most expensive option of all of them. There's a lot of advantages and uh, I think the first advantage is that you can see the flower. So you can see exactly what you buy, whether you like the color or you don't like the color. So that, that is what you're paying the higher price for but that is a big advantage i think the second thing is that if the flower is only starting to open up that you can actually take that plant home and you can pollinate that plant and you can have seeds in the first year already so you can make crosses or you can self the plant so you can start breeding with that plant almost immediately and then the third advantage is you can take pollen off the flowers so you can take the pollen off. If you want to use the pollen on, on crosses, on other plants, you can keep the pollen in the fridge and uh, you immediately have access and you have that genetics available to you to work with. So there might be things that I forgot about. So please comment on this video. Tell us what other advantages, disadvantages I've, I, I forgot about. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's going to help everyone to make easier and better decisions in the future with regards to, to their clavia plants. Remember to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Remember to like this video. Until next time. Bye-bye.